Hi, Don Lewis here with a brand new Seven Ways in Seven Days series. It's day one and all week I'm going to be making ATCs. An ATC is an artist trading card. I will be using the Cat's Meow by Mama Elephant, which you can find in Australia at dawnlewis.com.au. Here are our ingredients for today's project. The Cat's Meow, of course, with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I also have some Distress Embossing Ink, as well as Oxides in Seedless Preserves and Picked raspberry. I'm using my Misty for stamping and I have a an ATC card in watercolour paper blending card so I can colour with Copic markers. I have a mini Mister spray bottle with some perfect pearls in it. I've got some regular cardstock. I've got white embossing powder so I will be using my heat tool. To start with, I'm going to use a, an anti-static powder tool. This one is very fragrant. If you've never used it before, it is quite fragrant. I will be getting the Ranger embossing tool into the shop. It's just not in yet. I'm stamping out with clear embossing ink. This is a distress ink one, but you could use anything like Versamark. If it's a clear embossing ink, go for it. It will do the job. I've put my ATC all the way up one end, and you can probably see I... I didn't clean my stamp properly. There's a little black just on the top left kitty cat ears, but because I'm using white embossing powder, you're not going to see that. It will be covered up. I'm just tapping off the excess powder into a container and then I'll heat set it with my heat tool. I've masked off the kitties I've already stamped. I've moved this, the ATC further along and I've moved the stamp further up. So I'm actually covering the entire ATC with this kitty border stamp. I'm going to peel off the mask and again, I'm going to cover this with white embossing powder. I'm going to do an emboss resist technique today to create this really fun background. So heat setting again, it's a little chopping board. Distress oxide inks. This is seedless preserves and this is picked rather. I now have these in the shop. I'm so excited. Yes, I stock distress inks and I also have the clear embossing ink in the shop. Super excited about that. So I've started by putting some pink ink and I'm just blending it really gently. I always like to start on my craft mat just off to the side and then pull the ink in and I'm just putting it in random places all over this background. Um, in the picture here, in the video, it looks really purple, but when you see the photograph at the end, that's what it looks like more in real life. It is a lot more pink than purple, um, but it does look really dark here. It isn't, it's really actually very lovely and pink. So I've covered the entire thing and I'm just buffing the front of the card to take the ink off the top of the uh, white embossing powder. Now I'm going to take my pearlized water that I made myself with some perfect, perfect pearls, which I also have in the shop. I just remembered. Oh, I do. There's going to be lots of links today. And I'm speed, I've spritzed it all over and I'm speeding up the process with my heat gun. So there is a teensy bit of Copic coloring today. And I've just got a strip of leftover blending card, which I always like to stamp on for Copic coloring. I'm double stamping the little top hat. So not only do you get this cool cat border, you get little extra kitties with accessories. And I've masked the top hat and then I'm going to place one of the smaller individual kitty stamps over that. So it means that the top hat is going to look like it's at the front, not at the back. Because who wears a hat at the back of their head? I don't know about you, but that's not how top hats work. Although, to be fair, I probably should have placed it better because it's interfering with his ear. But never mind, it's a card. It's not a real cat. He's in no discomfort whatsoever. I also chose to use the little sign today. We are going to stamp a word onto that sign. But that's going to come later. I want to colour it first and then I'll stamp the word with Ranger Archival Jet Black Ink. I double stamp because, well, Memento is not the darkest black of inks. So for the Copic colouring, I'm actually using Cool Greys for the top hat. I've chosen these specifically because C1, C3, C5 and C7 are all available as chow markers. Chows are a great way to start your Copic collection on a budget. So I've blended it all out and I'm just coming back and putting in the darker areas because they do tend to fade a bit in the blending process. The next thing I'm doing is colouring our kitty all over except for nose and ears with E11, 13 and 15. I do use, you'll see me use two colours for the nose and ears, but in hindsight I realised all I needed was R32. It's way too tiny a space to be trying to blend. So the first colour was a little, well it just 
barely showed up. So R32 it is. You can definitely get away with that. Deepening the shadows. Little ears. See what I mean? Two colors. Little nose. And now the sign using E21, 23 and 25. I like these. They're sort of a different shade of brown to the kitty, but it still coordinates nicely. It's not a massive clash. You can use any colors you want. This is just what I chose to use today. So strengthening the shadows is also a really good idea we're going to finish this ATC now put the whole thing together we're nearly there I'm taking the little word meow and I'm going to put that onto the center of the sign I'm stamping this using Ranger archival jet black ink I now stock this as well this is my favorite ink non-copic ink I love it love it love it it's super super dark black like proper black and I only have to stamp it once I love it for all my sentiments look at that beautiful meow and here it is all finished I forgot to show I just used Tombow mono adhesive to stick them down and I've stuck the little sign under his hand but behind his ear I love this gorgeous little ATC and this is just one we've got a whole week of ATCs because I am hosting ATC swaps here in Australia in conjunction with the frolicking fairy in the USA I do hope you enjoyed this video today thank you so much for watching and a very special thanks to you if you subscribe you can find a link below Below to my blog which lists all of the materials that I use with some special close-up photos so you can have a closer look at this ATC and find out more about ATC swaps here in Australia. I do hope that you have a very crafty day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.